everyone, Amy Love here, and I am coming on today to share with you this altered composition notebook I created. We were having a, a swap in my Facebook group for an altered composition notebook, so this is what I created for my swap partner, and I hope that she loves it. For the cover, I actually cut a piece of muslin the size of the front of the notebook, and I hand sewed all the bits on because I just love hand sewing. I find it so relaxing to do in the evening. So I sewed everything on here and then I printed off some images from uh, Pixie Dust Files. Okay, I'm in love with her digitals. And so I used this image and it's printed on paper or in cardstock. And then I did glue down this beautiful applique but everything in the background all those bits I just enjoyed very much sewing them on so uh, for the the edge you know of a composition notebook it's it's black and I always struggle with what I'm gonna do to cover that up if I'm not making a cover that wraps all the way around so I painted it with gesso and then I decoupaged some tissue paper pretty polka dot tissue paper I think I got from my friend Julie K and I love it. I ra uh, I just decoupage that on and then to cover up the edges I used this beautiful Chinese braid. I mean I love this Chinese braid. One the color is amazing and two it's flat. It's not it doesn't have a big bulky middle so it lays so nice and that comes from Angel Dream Crafts. I love it. So I used that for the edges. I also used it right here on the back. And for the back, I used a really beautiful piece of lemon craft paper. And then I used a doily to cover up where I uh, put the sari silk for the tie. And I had this adorable little edging trim in my um, lace drawer and I thought that would be so cute. So I used that here and here. Right, it's just so so cute and then this bottom lace I love it I'm not real sure if I got it from my friend Abby or maybe my friend Dora I don't remember but I absolutely love it it's so pretty so I I did that all the way around and then on the top I did this crochet this crocheted um, trim all the way around it's so cute right it's so so cute and so on the side I made a tassel I got one of these beautiful um, I guess it would be called a bead cap I got it from a store on Etsy and I added the lobster claw and then I just attached a ring um, right here in that lace and glued it down so this is removable if she wants to use the tassel for something else she can take that right off of there so in the bead cap, I put, um, I added chain and I made a bunch of bead dangle charms. Let me see if I can get that where you can see it. And then I added this little um, heart locket. It's just, it's so cute. And so and there's more on this side. I do enjoy creating those. And then just a bunch of different, there's sorry silk and there's laces there's some vintage lace in here and then there um i guess these would be called spacer beads i'm not real sure but i've tied a couple on here and there because they're just cute so there is that beautiful tassel and then i will um i put a really pretty little charm it's hiding right now right there I tied to the sari silk it's got a pretty little pink stone in it I just think it's so cute so cute all right so then on the inside on this inside cover I made a I covered it in paper and I don't remember which paper this is but then I made a lace pocket right here and I put this little trim down at the bottom. And then I kind of filled it with things I thought maybe she could use in the notebook. So there's a, um, a little postcard and there's a little uh, bookmark and a little tag. And I just tied some lace around paper clips and then popped it on because I thought if she wanted to, she could take this paper clip off and then mark pages in her notebook if she wanted to. I added a little, um, thing of post-it notes 
that I thought would be nice. I also added some some of these blingy, blingy stickers that I thought would be fun to use in her notebook. And then I also added a stamp. Um, if she wanted to stamp on any of the pages, you know, just stuff for her to, to have fun in her little notebook. And then um, I did add one of my um, hidden paper clips right here. It actually has a little tilde image in it. Oh, ballerina Tilda, she's so cute. And then I just have like a snippet on the back. And then on the back page, I just left it blank because it was really important to me that this would lay flat. Isn't that a beautiful paper? That's a Stamperia paper, I'm pretty sure. So pretty. I wanted it to lay flat so that she could easily use it and write on it. Because you know how frustrating it is when you're, you want to write notes, but there's too much bulk and you can't make it happen. So I decided to leave the back flat and not add a pocket in inside. So, But it is still very pretty. So it was such fun to make and decorate. I had a good time. It's, it's the first time I did one like this. Like I've either covered them in paper or I've made a fabric um, removable cover. But this time I used paper and fabric and it was fun. I think it turned out really nice. It's just so super cute. So I wanted to take this moment to share something with you. I'm really trying to grow my channel. It would be amazing if I could hit 7,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I really would love to do that. So if you love my channel and my content, I would, I'm going to ask you to share my videos and please give me a thumbs up. And I would like to up my comments. I notice over the past year, and it's probably because I slowed down making videos because I work full time and it's hard to keep up on making regular videos. I have noticed that my um, my comments aren't as as many. So I would I would I'm going to ask you to please leave a comment on my videos and I'm going to start I'm having a giveaway in June that is based on comments, but it is for a YouTube hop that's coming up. So after that, every month um, I'm going to choose a little um choose somebody that left a comment on one of my videos from that month to send a little happy mail as a thank you from me to you for supporting my channel and helping me grow and so when we do hit the 7,000 subscribers i'm having a huge giveaway i have so many people that will be so many businesses that are offering um to give away prizes i am excited and i can't wait to share with you so i just want to say thank you for the support and thank you for helping me get my channel out there and i will see you guys on the next one bye everybody